Trash Talk Monsters fans going to watch a film I haven't seen since 2012. Only available on VHS. It's called Lovely But Deadly. But I've made a DVD-R of this one and got some homemade box art. Don't you just love homemade box art? I do. Let's watch. Meet Arthur. The sun. Oh, that's very serious. <laughs> Arthur is strung out on some sort of drug. <laughs> What are you doing? You're real pain in the neck, you know that? I'm gonna catch a tuna. Arthur's gonna go catch himself a tuna. Which is in the ocean, of course. Unfortunately, Arthur doesn't come back. Arthur drowned. The drugs are bad. I can't find him. Here's to be a school dance. Real good looking. That's cricket on the right. Cricket. Look at all the lovely ladies I can hear. That one. Her name is Mary Ann. She goes by the name Lovely. And she is something else. And it was her brother Arthur the drowned. What? No, but you do. Larry's a drug dealer. <laughs> lovely knows it. Oh. And she's taking revenge on drug dealers. That wasn't funny. Magic like the taste of his own medicine. No. Lovely's not messing around. Uh, I, I. Back home. Whoa, whoa. I used to rub the throat of an old pot. Whoa. Just like this. Whoa. So he would take his medicine. This, my friends, is murder. Detective. I think she left the dance with her. A girl tipped off the police about Burgess. You wouldn't be that girl now, would you? The police? Me? No, I don't think so. Come on, Dolly, give her a break. Hey, Cricket's a garbage head, you know that. Needless so to say, it Lovely gets sister. away with murder. So she happened to meet the wrong people. Well, they marked her Lovely. You drowned. You strung out on drugs. I know. It was my kid brother, Arthur. Hey, I'm sorry. It's a stupid drug situation. So, Frank. Franklin Van Dyke, John Randolph. What do you think about this drug problem? I think he's the school principal. The national epidemic. That's Javelin Scott, Lovely's boyfriend. I don't see any difference between drugs and alcohol. I want to be singer. Let's just be grateful that drugs are still illegal. Local school burnout. And meeting some really bad thugs. So? He said no. That's Gamora yeah. on the left. He said no. The other guy's name is Driver. In a very odd scene. Go back there. Come on. Lovely and this guy are being chased by what looks to be a fencing team. They're really the thugs in disguise. Because that's Gamora on the right. They're looking to recruit drug dealers. But Lovely knows come too. Information then. Anytime. Just before he was attacked, Steve told me the name of, of, of the biggest dealer in school. A guy named Mantis Menagia. Who was the star football player. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you take your job so seriously. Here's where Lovely has learned her Kung Fu. Now go to it. T. 
Tina. What? Mantis's ex-girlfriend. I hear that you used to go out with Mantis the Legion. Yeah. Until Gloria snaked him away. Do you still know him well enough to introduce me to him? What for? I hear he has some really good stuff. Gloria on the right is Mantis' new girlfriend, and he doesn't like Lovely asking questions about him. She tries to stick the other cheerleaders onto her. Things don't go well for the other cheerleaders. Here we meet Mantis, football star. Nobody tells Mantis Menagee what to do. Real life you football player Rick Mosier. Hey, what's my idea? The coach said be sure to tell you. Will you tell the coach something? You tell him that I'm going to take a little time out till he comes over to apologize. Right away. And uh, you tell him you better get here quick. For the next time I'm in his biology class, I'm going to dissect him. Menagee, you one of the new cheerleaders? Meet Lovely. They don't drop me. Would you be interested in a little extracurricular activity? I might. It's going to be a real neat party this week. So here's the party that uh, Mantos was referencing. I'm sorry, you can't come in without a costume. A lot of big drug people there, including Driver and Gamora. Lovely starting to make the rounds, but Gloria, of course, is jealous. A little while later, uh, Lovely's going to get her revenge on Gloria with some caviar. Leads to a cat fight between the two. What? What? Oh, that guy's no. Warren, he's big in the drug trade. Mr. Gilmartin, another drug guy, guy there. With Warren Lang. He liked Lovely Spunk and invites her over with Mantis. Here she is, Mr. Gilmartin. Howdy. I promise you'll enjoy this lovely afternoon. Mantis leaves yes. them alone. Wall away. And after um, Gilmartin makes some moves on Lovely. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I guess I went too far, huh? I can't help it if you didn't get any in high school. Oh, now look, I, I promise I'll be more gentle next time. You're giving me the creeps. <laughs> what I want, you can never give me. She ends up beating the shit out of him. Tomorrow you're gonna have all you want. She's probably gonna kill him. <laughs> Where? Who are you? What do you want? Until Driver and Gamora show up to rescue him. Anyway, they're placing the blame on Mantis, so they set a trap for him. So what is this? Uh, I don't have any shirts. I mean, they're going to pull my teeth out with pliers. Hey! Hey! What's going on? Guess what? the crap out of Mantis. And then they take him out in a big box. You can do the others. I don't like mechanical things. 
some sort of steam room area. I think they're just gonna put steam into that crate where he is. And that is the end of Mantis Manasian. Lovely's boyfriend, Javelin. Meanwhile, Gamora and Driver have Lovely kidnapped. Grapefruit. Hiya. I'm Gamora. Want some? Lovely briefly escaped at one point, but to do with this. Let him go. That's her boyfriend Javelin. If you wanted to see my shipyard, all you had to do was ask. With the bad guys. She just a friend. She doesn't know what she's doing. Ooh, uh, I think she does. Question is, uh Do you know what she's doing? He's in with the bad guys. They gotta get rid of her. No. I guess that doesn't leave us any choice then. And there's only one thing we can do. Great. You never let me have any fun. They're gonna ship her to Taiwan in a box. It's too late. I don't like you by now. I won't come. Whatever. Let's just put her in a crate and get it over with. She asked for a last request, one last thrill. After I'm done. And by God, Gamora's gonna give it to her. Gamora's not too bright. show up as well. Dyke's a bad guy, too. Gilmore took care of it. What do you do? Lovely. They all think Lovely's dead. Emily Post. What's going on here? No, you don't. And the bad guys are rounded up. Bad guys get arrested. But then we cut to a an island or something, and oh, there's Gamora. I 
Yes, the moral lived. Alright, let's talk about this movie, Lovely But Deadly. It's uh, one of the first movies I ever taped, had on a beta tape. Uh, I think I taped it uh, late 1984, early 1985. Um, can't remember what I had on. I think I had National Lampoon's Vacation and National Lampoon's uh, Class Reunion on the same tape of this, I think. I, never, I can't remember for sure, but anyway, I had it on a scotch tape. Um, it's not available on uh, DVD yet. Um, it's been on, released on VHS by Vestron uh, back in the 80s, and it's a movie that I always liked. I saw it multiple times on cable. It showed up on cable periodically, you know, one of the movie channels and such. I watched it a bunch of times back then, and uh, like I said, it was one of the first movies ever taped, and I've watched it periodically over the years because I kind of like it. I also think it's unique that the um, a lot of the characters in this movie have odd names. Like, our lead character... Her name is Marianne, but they call her Lovely. Lovely is her name. Uh, her boyfriend's name is Javelin. Javelin Scott. Uh, the star football player is named Mantis Menagius. Menagian. That's an odd name. I don't know what kind of name that is. Incidentally, he was played by uh, Rick Mosier, who was a... Um, running bag and special teams player for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the late 70s. Uh, won a couple of Super Bowls, actually. So being a football player was not a big stretch for him. Um, there was a guy named Cricket in this movie as well. And, of course, who can forget Irwin Keyes as Gamora. Gamora is... Um, or I should say, Irwin Keyes is a guy who's uh, kind of played a thug in a lot of movies, but kind of a lovable thug, too. In fact, he was even kind of lovable in this movie, too. He kind of plays like a dumb, oafish character in just about everything I've seen him in. I remember him as Hugo on a couple episodes of The Jeffersons, where he was uh, George's um, bodyguard. Uh, George hired a bodyguard one time. So, But anyway, lovely but deadly. We have a story here of a girl who takes revenge on drug dealers in her in area because her boyfriend got high and wanted to catch a tuna and jumped into the ocean and drowned. So there you go. Um, so she goes after all the drug dealers. She goes up higher and higher up the ladder till she gets everybody. And eventually she tells the police about it and they find out. Uh, they find out. She cracks it all. She almost gets herself killed uh, by being put in a crate and shipped to Taiwan, but she manages to escape using her lovely techniques against Gamora. And uh, so everybody gets arrested, those who are survived, of course, um, except Gamora. Somehow Gamora escaped, ended up on a deserted island somewhere in our last scene. So maybe there will be a lovely but deadly too, the return of Gamora. I don't know. Incidentally, Erwin Keyes, who played Gamora, died a couple years ago, so there will be a new Gamora if there ever was a Lovely But Deadly 2. Incidentally, also Lucinda Dooling, who played Lovely, died a couple years ago as well. She uh, was in a couple other things, Surf 2, and then she kind of retired after she got married and didn't do much else uh, in, in terms of acting. Um, and there you go. So anyway, like I said, I always liked this movie. Also, the guy who played uh, Mr. Van Dyke, who got arrested at the end, the principal, you may remember him from National Lampoon's Crucification. He played played uh, Clark's father in that one. So, But anyway, really cool movie. I always liked this one. Uh, this is some homemade box art here. It's a DVD-R that I, I copied from my um, VHS tape. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this movie if you've seen it. Uh, I bet you some people have. It's pretty cool. Leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. It's called Lovely But Deadly. Watch it. Bye. Lovely But Deadly.